Welcome to another informative series brought to you by Otruo. The last time, we look at text-based programming language also known as statementless programming language. The way this language are used was discussed in detail coupled with some practical example. In today's series, we will be looking at the last programming language, which is instruction list programming. The way this language is used will be discussed in detail coupled with a practical application. Stay tuned. Instruction lists or ILS as it's fondly called is one of the five PLC programming languages defined by the IEC 61131-3. The others that were discussed earlier are ladder logic diagrams, function block diagrams, sequential function charts, and structured text. Instruction lists are not a graphical programming language. Instead, they most resemble assembly language programming. As the name implies, it is a program that includes a series of instructions. This instruction is listed in such a way that is similar to machine assembler program. This programming language uses mnemonic codes for instruction list. Examples of such can be seen here. LD means normally open contacts, and LDI on the other hand means normally close contacts. While OR means normally open contacts in parallel, and ORI means normally close contact in parallel. Let's look at a typical example. LDA that is load K. And that is load I. Equal STQ. That is the output to Q. Now let looking at the first line. LD is the operator. And K is the operand. And the words at the ends of program lines. Now the instruction is to load K into the memory register which will be called later for further operations when needed. The next line is a boolean operation called AND and which is in series with K. That is K and I. While STQ is the last line. STQ is where the result will be stored. That is in Q. Again, each of these codes corresponds to an element operator and the use of these codes varies from one manufacturer to manufacturer. This variation was later reviewed and accepted under IEC 1131-3. These operands differ for some users. And examples of such are listed here. Overall, instruction list programming language are very fast and efficient, especially when compared to graphical languages. These language uses less memory. For this reason, instruction list language is typically used in control loops. This is due to its fast processing speeds. Over to you Andrea. Perfect Laura. Because instruction list programming language is text base. It tends to use less memory because the instructions are not in image formats. And just like you said, the time that the PLC will use to decode the instruction which is already informed of text will be drastically reduced. Because it is already in text format, hence its programming speeds. However, instruction list programs are known to be prone to runtime errors, and they can cause infinite loops or illegal arithmetic operations. Most importantly, in today's manufacturing environments, personnel other than programmers, maintenance engineers, and electricians will be able to troubleshoot issues or faults that relate to equipment that is programmed in instruction list. The area sometimes mostly includes controls and programs wise. While this instruction list language is program friendly, it may sometimes be very difficult to analyze and troubleshoot. Perfect. Andrea and Laura. The series has addressed some areas of need. However, I will like some practical applications. All right, Hendrik. That shouldn't be a problem. Abby Andrea. Yes, sure. The plan is for Laura to introduce you to the approved programming languages. That way, 
it will not be looking like a rocket science when we start applying them. In the next series, we will be using these programming languages in a conveyor and in a palleting applications. Hope you have learned something new today. See you in the next series. Thank <music> you.